Hey guys, we're getting started on our flower wall and we're not done. We need more flowers, of course. And we, this is for Mother's Day. We are encouraging people to bring in their mothers. Uh, mothers, bring your kids and have take your picture in front of the flower wall uh, beginning on Monday the 2nd through Mother's Day. And, you know, Mother's Day is on the 9th. No, it's on the 8th. And uh, so and then it'll, it'll probably come down on Monday, but we'll, we'll see. And then next, I'm going to show you how to make one of these beautiful flowers. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to make one of our beautiful uh, paper flowers that you can have for you, make for yourself. We are going to have kits available. Uh, we'll have the first 20 that show up. We'll get a template and enough of white paper. And all it is, is copy paper. I went straight to the copy machine and pulled out some paper in order to make this white flower. Of course, copy paper come in all different colors. That's why we have uh, some of the pretty, pretty colors that we do out on our board. And we have a green one right here, a great big one. And the one that I'm gonna show you how to make is more of a medium size. We've got so many large ones out there that we need some smaller ones to fill in. You can even make a tiny rose like this. And they're super simple. So let's get started. I've got my template and I'm just going to cut around the, uh, around the print that's here on the paper. Now I'm not going to go through every, every little bit of this. I think you're smart enough. This is what the large, largest leaf looks like. There's my largest petal for this flower. And then cut this out for your next size leaf. And this one for your next size, not leaf, but petal. And this all the way down to the center. So after you get all your petals cut out. You'll want to keep them in a pot and you want to make a shape. You want your flower to have some movement. So one of the ways to do it is just put it over the side of the table and pull. And see how that curled the paper? This one curled the best. I'm just going to use my hand and just roll it up a little bit. And that's going to give our little petals some uh, some shape. The next thing we're going to want to do is cut up through the center. And we're only going to cut about a third of the way, just like that. And we have, we'll want to do that for all of our petals, except for the very, the very smallest two. Don't cut those. We've got a glue gun. You can also use a glue stick. I have a couple of the flowers that are out there on the board. They were made with a glue, a glue stick. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue down where I've cut and I'm gonna fold it over. You don't wanna fold it all the way, just a little bit, just like that. Now, if you did fold it all the way, it would really make your petals stand up and you want your flower to be more open. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue and shape all of my flower petals and then I'll be back to show you how to put it together. Okay, I've got my center and this center is cut out of a, a file folder. It's just something that's, it's got to be a little bit stiff, uh, stiffer than your paper because you have to, it needs to, uh, it needs to hold it up. So I'm going to put some glue on my center and put my, my first petal down. And 
And the second petal is just gonna overlap just a little bit. One thing about a glue stick is you can pull your petals up a little quicker if you do put them in the wrong place. But this very bottom is going to, it's going to get covered up by other petals. And it depends on how much you overlap as to how wide your petal is going to be. You may want a, a larger center. You may want a smaller center. Okay, so there's the first row of my rows. Now, make, make sure that you have your petals laid out by different size because I have messed one up where I got my, my petals out of order. So I'm gonna continue with this and we'll be back. And this petal, this, the, the next set of petals, you're gonna want in between like that. Okay, so I've got my, my petals in, and I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna show you how to make that center. Okay, so our little bitty petal. I'm gonna roll this up. Put a little hot glue in here. Try not to burn my finger. form around. Then the next one is going to come around that, just like that. Now put a little, put a little glue across here. And put it around. Do the next one. And you have to contend, when you use hot glue, you have to contend with the, the strings. This one is gonna go right here. And you have to be careful not to burn your fingers. You just continue where the edges are open. Just like that. Okay. Now the next one. Then a little bit larger paper. Keep coming around. Actually, 
actually, this is kind of larger than I would have liked. But it would be okay. And you know, if something is not to your liking, you know, start over. It's just, you know, copy paper is pretty inexpensive. These needed to be curled out. I see that's one of the mistakes that I've made is I should have curled. Let's see if I can do it. Not really. <laughs> That's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to curl these others. A glue stick is good. this side. Now I'm just going to put a dot of glue on one side and a dot on the other side. This one got cut and it shouldn't have been cut. But it's okay, we're gonna make it work. Got glue on both sides. It's coming along. Excuse me. And I've got one more. And if I wanted to add some more to this, I can. Now I'm going to see how this looks. I think. I want to cut a few more of the little petals. And luckily, I have some more. Okay, so I have some more of these petals already cut. It doesn't hurt to cut a few extra. If you think something doesn't look even, um, if you want it a little fuller, you can always just cut some more. coming along. Flower walls are really the in thing right now. At least they were last year. I guess they're still in. Say so I made one for my, my son's wedding a few years ago and you can still buy them um, on Etsy, people sell these entire walls of these great big flowers. I don't know how they ship them. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Oh, yeah. 
Now I'm going to put a large amount of glue. There's some strings. I'm going to hold this in the center. And when that's dry, I'll pick it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, I've got my beautiful rose done. And we're going to add it to, we're going to make some leaves and add it to the, uh, the wall out there. And make some more flowers. And don't forget the first 20 people that shows up for, uh, they can get a template and the paper that they need to make their own flower. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining us.